Cancers have many thousands of mutations, and they're not random. The mutations occur because of the different mutational processes that are going wrong in the cell as a cell goes from being a normal cell to being a cancer cell. Some of those mutational processes are intrinsic, they are because things are going wrong within the cell. Others are because of environmental factors. So in this study, a collaboration between King's College London, University of Cambridge and the Wellcome Sanger Institute, we wanted to understand the environmental factors that are causing cancer that leave specific patterns in the genome, something we call mutational signatures. And we wanted to systematically study the mutational signatures that arise from environmental exposures. We know that human tumours contain these mutations, but we don't know the causes of many of them. So what was needed was to see if we could take known carcinogens, treat cells in culture, and experimentally generate some of the signatures that are seen in human tumours. We selected 79 agents, compounds, chemicals and some radiation that we know can cause cancer and we treated cells in culture, these were human stem cells, isolated the DNA after treatment, sent these to our Cambridge colleagues for sequencing and for the bioinformatics to identify what the mutational signatures were and then we compared them with each other. We whole genome sequenced 324 mutagen-treated samples. In total, we identified 41 mutagen-associated substitution signatures, 6 double substitution signatures, and 8 in their signatures. Some are known and some are new. Broadly, we classified the mutations into different classes, in particular, substitutions, insertions and deletions, and double substitutions. And then we looked at the patterns that were produced by each of those different treatments. Interestingly, each treatment produced its own characteristic pattern. Sometimes a treatment produced multiple patterns, but each of the treatments had their own characteristic pattern. It's like a fingerprint for every single mutagen. For example, we were able to break down the tobacco smoke signature and say which individual chemicals were contributing to the different components in tobacco smoke patterns. This is a resource that can be used by others and added to of quite a number of agents that haven't been looked at before. So we're seeing novel signatures. It remains to be seen to what extent these can be matched to other signatures seen in human tumours. But we hope in the future that putting the two together will lead to identification of more of these unknown signatures. Historically, uh, and in my PhD, generally you'd look at mutation patterns um, induced in a single gene. But the power of this study was that we were able to generate a, a reference library of mutation signatures across the entire genome induced by environmental carcinogens. We've created a reference set of mutational signatures for these mutagens and we hope that in the future when people develop cancers and we sequence them, we will be able to look at mutation patterns and then refer to this bank, this foundation of mutational signatures that we've created in order to fully understand whether any of these mutagens have contributed to the development of a patient's cancer.